Shaw is inspired by historical reader. <clears throat> His two videos. So I will make um, my two videos. But this is in reverse. On feminism. Um, the women's rights movement was a right and good thing. That wasn't feminism. It wound up achieving all of its goals. Um, some might say by the 60s, some might say by the um, early 80s. But all of its goals were completed. And it died. There was no, no more need for it. Um, just like um, the Republican Party started as an abolitionist party. And when the abolition of slavery happened, it stopped pressing for the abolition of slavery. There are, there, there are no more abolitionists, at least for abolitionism in the United States. Um, slavery should be abolished elsewhere, and it's on the rise elsewhere. But from the women's rights movement, the dead corpse of the women's rights movement, and it should have died because all the goals were achieved, came the zombie of feminism uh, where women are told to be perpetual victims, scared of everything, and that um, they women should be treated like um, shell-shocked, distraught children. That they can't be... Well, feminists, the, if you disagree with them, you will be... You, you'll be said to harass them, which is strange. Um, the crazies that I got when I... Um, the, the crazy people that came after me. You're right, um, historical reader. These are seem to be two ends of the extremes here. But yeah, feminism is is poison. It uh, it's I I I have two nieces. Um, I don't want to see them get preached. In, in indoctrinated this this poison that just is it, it it the goal is to to empower and enrich the bank accounts empower few people and enrich the bank accounts of few people women and men who preach this fear and hate and bigotry at the ex and the expenses of um, error and basically almost a type of PTSD in women. That's what they want. Feminism is the most anti-woman thing conceivable, and it's it, it's that's it's just the insidiousness of it. That's pro-woman, and it's the exact opposite. Um, and it's, I could go on about it. That's why, um, the MRAs, the ones that I have heard, I've not come across a men's rights activist that didn't only advocate for, um, <coughs> basic rights supported demand and equality and there were things that I didn't even think about oh yeah that's right um, the uh, the abuse that goes on domestic abuse uh, the the uh, I, I don't agree with them on their issue of circumcision but I can see their point 
the um, the court cases where women almost automatically get the children. Uh, but yeah, it's I feminism. Wow. And the the insidiousness of the feminists is that when uh, injustices happen to men, these these MRA guys, they call them what manginas and oh, you're gonna cry and you're always crying and this and crying, and then in the very next video that they make, they'll say, oh, the patriarchy teaches men have to be strong and that they have to be tough and manly and masculine. Um, most of the MRAs that I see on here are women and the men that are MRAs are not the macho masculine guys. They're just kind of like normal guys. They're not the douchebaggy. I need to get laid all the time or I'm women suck. They're, they're not like that at all. Um, but yeah, uh, feminism is poison it's 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 bamboozlement it's it's women hatred or at least being sociopathic towards women while stepping on their back what not even stepping on their backs while just trying to rape their souls rape the souls of little girls and boys and profit off of it with prestige power and money it's it, it is sickening peace to you